Good evening and thanks for joining us for the News at 10. We're getting closer to Thanksgiving and that means it's time to buy a bird to eat. Whether it's turkey, chicken or maybe another type, our Sean Delmaniz has you covered on the best ways to save some cash this holiday. When it comes to food this holiday season, you might need to be strategic like Patty Childress. I am going to order my entire meal. All I have to do is pick it up, pretend I cooked it and put it in the oven. <laughs> she started doing this three years ago to maintain her budget, which is paid off this year with soaring meat prices. Now pork, chicken and beef is across the board gone up at least 40%. Notice head butcher Joshua Gibson's list didn't include turkey. He says that bird's price hasn't changed for Skinner's Grocery. This six and a half pound bird is $22.65. Now Joshua tells me that this price is pretty average. The store hasn't had to pay a surge or seen any spikes because they order their birds a year in advance. Childress says she's not the biggest fan of turkey. It sometimes it tends to get really, really dry. She's not alone either. A recent study by the vacationer found nearly 30% of all American adults don't like turkey on Thanksgiving. Many of them are opting for ham and chicken instead. If you're considering switching out your turkey this year, Gibson says it'll cost you because it's costing suppliers. What they're telling me is like, uh, you know, having problems getting the packing houses filled back up with employees and everybody's at 50% capacity. His main pieces of advice, get your meats as early as you can, but don't panic buy. He says prices should return to normal by February. Childress has advice for dinner too. Stay with what people really like. Um, a lot of a lot of family members bring all these exotic new dishes that nobody will eat except for Fido. We've got you covered East Texas. Sean Delmaniz, CBS 19. Americans are getting squeezed in other ways this holiday season. Gas prices are up nearly 50 percent from last year and food is up 5 percent. Now all this happens is average hourly wages have actually fallen 1.2 percent according to the U.S. Department of Labor.